The only way you're ever going to get to the other side of this journey is you have got to suffer, to grow. To grow, you must suffer. And some people will get it and some people won't. But they have to see what their journey is to start their journey. Several people live to be 100 years old and they have great lives and they have great kids. Their kids go to college and all sorts of stuff. But somewhere in their life, there was a point where they had a decision to make. They can go left or right on this path. Left was the easy route. Right was the hard route. A lot of people take the easy route. And they had a good life that way, but the better life was going to the right side. And you may have 20 years of pain and suffering to get past it, but a lot of us die never truly starting our journey. And I would tell this young person, you got to start your journey. It may suck, but it will. It will come out the other side where you're coasting. So it's really, I want to go back to what you're saying about that we write our own book, writing it every day, but we actually don't take the time to read it. So what do you, as you were saying that, here's what I was saying, tell me if this is where you were going, that basically you're, you're writing down these things that are sort of re becoming your identity about being weak, about avoiding suffering, about um, being soft, essentially. I mean, all, like all the things sort of by default, they're in that camp. And as you were saying that, I was imagining you sort of taking that pen and beginning to write your own story and writing things that you knew looking back on that you would be proud of. Right. Like going through the military and doing the hardest training, some of the ultra endurance stuff that you've done, which is un on broken feet. I mean, it's like so crazy. In fact, it, one, is that what you meant by writing that story? So what I meant by that is like every day we're seeing who we are as people. When I was growing up, I, I lied for people to accept me because I didn't accept myself. Mm. So I would make up stories so, so then you would accept me into your world. I would, uh, everything I did was for someone else to like me. It wasn't until I started reading my own book about how pathetic I was as a human being. I could blame my dad, I can blame kids at school, I could blame having health issues, ADD, my mom not being around. Great mom, but she was doing her thing. Right. I could blame a lot of people. And that's the book I was reading. And I put it off on everybody else. It wasn't until I said, you know what? For me to fix this, I got to read what the hell, what the fuck is wrong with David Goggins? Not, not blame anybody. Read my book and say, okay, I'm afraid of my shadow. How can I overcome that? Go in the military, get your ass kicked, do things you hate to do. Be uncomfortable every fucking day of your life. Roger that. I'm not the smartest kid in the world. Okay. Instead of somebody saying, oh, no, you're smart. No, no, don't say that to yourself. I said to myself, no, I'm a dumb motherfucker. Okay, roger that. How do you get smarter? Educate yourself. So the things that we run from, we're running from the truth. We're running from the truth, man. So the only way I became successful was going towards the truth. As painful and as brutal as it is, it changed me. Yeah. It, it allowed me to become, in my own right, who I am today.